Touch that switch and I'll tear your arm off. Charlie, you better leave number five. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's it, huh? What are you closing up so early for? Where the hell is everybody? Where, where the hell is everybody? Yeah. Everybody's home in bed. That's where you should be. Yeah? With who?
I hope we bust a cab with Big Bread tonight, man. I'm gonna go to the track tomorrow. Your mom is gonna let you go to the track? Pigeons, Joe. I think pigeons, but I think what's more. I think a boss. What's up? A couple of guys, but a car's coming. Forget it. <laughs> Lollipop right near, man. You're choking me. Oh, yeah? How'd you figure that out? <laughs> Please, I'll give you my money. Uh, ain't that nice, Joe? He's gonna give us his money. Hey, Bucks. Hey, lousy Bucks. Hey, Bucks, you gotta be kidding, mister. That's all I have. So how come that's all you have? Please, I'm a poor man. So how come you're a poor man? Maybe you don't work hard enough, huh? Yeah, maybe you're just a lazy, good-for-nothing slob. Hey, you call this fair? All this work for a lousy eight bucks? Huh? Please, don't hurt me. I got a family. Oh, yeah? Well, if this is all you come home with, maybe they'll be getting a break if you didn't come home no more, huh? Crap. Nothing but crap. You know, you're what I call real pathetic, mister. <laughs> Please, I beg of you. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't say pretty, please. Please. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you still didn't say pretty, please. Pretty, please. <laughs> you see, that's all you had to do. Is that easy enough? with one shot. It's more fun this way. Keep you in shape. Come on. <laughs> so what do you want to do with eight bucks, man? So what do you want to do? Oh, man, I gotta fly tonight. I mean, I really gotta fly. 
<laughs> you want more kicks? Oh, man, I ain't even warmed up yet. <laughs> Let's go down to Times Square. What's down to Times Square on a Sunday night, man? So who knows, man? Tonight's young yet. <laughs> o'clock in the morning and she's four years old. We won't get home till 3.30. I'm going to get up at seven, so I start the week with a big fat three and a half hours sleep. You know, it may not mean anything to you, but I happen to be a working man. Oh, well, look, why don't we take a cab then? Taxi? A cab? All the way to Flushing? Who do you think's going to pay for it? Well, it won't hurt us one night, Bill. One night? That's how it starts. Then it'll be another night and another night. Well, that's not in the budget, Helen. You should have married a millionaire, a cab. Well, look, you want me to pay for it. Oh, sure. Then at the end of the month, when you run out of money, who do you think's going to pay for it then? Go ahead, Captain. Go ahead. Bill, please. Helen, you killed me, I'm telling you. A cab. Come on, Helen. Helen! I think you've got the wrong idea. Well, you got a lot of girlfriends. girlfriends. So? I'm sure they all like you. Why not? There's nothing wrong with me. I take good care of them. What's that supposed to mean? It means I make them happy. I'm a firm believer in happiness. Some people are afraid to be happy. You know that? Some people are actually afraid to be happy. You know what happens to people like that? What? They stay home. Tony, if you don't want to take me home, I can get home by myself. Who said anything about not taking you home? I'll take you home. It's not Mr. Train, huh? All right. Hey, how come you got to be home so early? Hey, wait for me, huh? Early? Are you kidding? I have to go to work in the morning. Don't you have to work? 
Sure, so what? I can do that job in here. Me with my eyes closed. I need to sleep, huh? Rotten bum, don't tell me no. Nobody can tell you anything. Yeah. Well, what did I ask him for? A million? I asked him for a lousy 500 bucks just to get my teeth fixed so I can eat like a human being. I ain't entitled to that? You mean to tell me he can't afford it? I don't know, can he afford it? He's got his own problems. What problems? He's got a good job, ain't he? He's got a nice apartment. He's got a nice wife. He's got nice kids. He's young. What problems for crying out loud? He drops more than that at the track in a month, for God's sake. You say. better save your breath for them steps. You're going to need it. <laughs> I get treated like an old dog. I don't care a word you say. No more free service. Oh, yeah? I work for my grandchildren for free. I don't belong to no union. He wants to use the children as a weapon, Ulrich. Let him. I'm finished. You watch your blood pressure. And besides, you're not being fair. I'm not being fair. Oh. This is when he won the certificate of marriage. The oh, he was only 13 years old then. Yeah. And this oh, was that? the YMCA. Oh, he doesn't want to see all this stuff. Hey, what's the matter? You're not proud? I'm a proud. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, we've really got to go, Mom. Just got to get down to the oh, bus oh, terminal again. Oh, oh, hey, come on, buddy. We're going to be late. Yeah, hey, it's a good dinner. Hey, Mom. Mom, I'll yes. see you next week, okay? Oh, oh thank you, Mr. Cronin. So yeah, long, that's huh? good, good wine you got there. Oh, no, no, I'll get a change before it. So long. Goodbye, <laughs> son. And be very careful, you hear? Don't hey, break your arm. Come on, Mr. Carmody, Mr. Carmody. Thank, thank you kindly for everything. You're very, very welcome. You're a good boy. You come anytime. Well, thank you. Anytime. Well, thank you, Pop. Good night, Al. Oh, the hat. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, Mom. See you next week. Goodbye, son. Well, on that great conversation you and your mother had tonight, It'd be just wonderful to have another child. Helen, you got to be out of your head. Well, no, it's just that Susie's four years old now. Well, I... you know Susie, bless her heart, was an accident. Daddy, what's the matter? Oh, no, nothing, 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 nothing. Bill. Bill? Bill? We'll never have another child. I'd really like to know. Oh, I don't know, Helen. Boy, when you add it all up. I got a responsibility to you, to Susie, to your mother, to my mother and father. I've only got two hands, Helen. I've only got two hands.
Plus, I don't think she gets it. We have to try sometime anyway. Saving it for? Nobody. Then what? What are you trying to do? Make a monkey out of me? I tell you, if I knew it was going to be like this, I wouldn't even call you. Let me tell you something, girlie. You want to get along? You better grow up and fast. Yeah. Baby. What do you want, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're sorry. Me too. Tony, I didn't have to grow up. Oh, you didn't have to grow up, huh? No, you're all the way there, right? You've got a long way to go. Long way to go, baby. Long way to go. Come on, take a walk, will you? Good girl, Tony. Yeah, sure. I'll lay you off with you. Hey. Try me. I'll try. Kids came running, believe me. It was demanded. That's enough. I'm tired. Because when a father comes to the end, he deserves a reward. He's entitled. suspect. 
I mean, what's the harm to love, right? I figure if she thinks that I'm going to put out $6,000 for Lincoln Continental, she's out of her cotton picking mind, you know what I mean? Where are you going? Wait, wait, you got to go? Wait, 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 just a second. Let me finish. What happened? Would you believe I couldn't get her out of the car until I bought it? I couldn't get her out of the car! <laughs> Now listen, you two, don't you be strangers. Well, we won't, we'll be dear. You're a wonderful party, Jerry. Well, Thank take you. care. Maybe we can have a ride in that Lincoln sometime. Hey, how about that? <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, Quinn, are you sure now this train going to take us to Grand Central? Yeah, about a 30-minute ride down to Grand Central, then I shuttle over to Times Square at the bus station. Right. Hey, I got an idea. What's up? I'll, uh, I'll trade you my uh, weekend pass mm -hmm. for your 30-day uh, sick leave. Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> no, thanks. I'll tell you one thing, old buddy. You look at a well-fed man tonight. Yes, sir. I'll tell you one thing I, I never did have, though, was that, uh, before, is that, uh, lasagna? Oh, lasagna. 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 Yeah, it was good stuff. Yeah. You sure got a nice family, Phil. Ah, thanks, Felix. I'm glad you liked him. Yeah, I like your daddy, too. He's a nice warm man. Yeah, he's a character, I think. Oh, good. Uh, were you able to understand him? Oh, I understood him all right. The question is, he understand me. <laughs> well, I think they were a little shocked when they saw that arm of yours. Yeah, I know they were. Yeah. They sure worry about you quite a bit, don't they? Mm. Yeah, they're always worrying about me. <laughs> you don't have any folks, do you, Felix? No. No, they, uh, they died not small. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Yeah. I, just, I really don't even remember too much about them. What are you going to do when, uh, when you get out of the Army? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I guess, uh, work on a farm, maybe, a uh, filling station. <laughs> I don't know, heck, I ain't got no special plans. How about you? Uh, I can hardly wait to get out. I'm going to go back to school, and then I'm going to go to law school, and then 50000 a year, maybe uh, 100000 a year. Oh, come on. You more. sound like kind of ambitious here, ain't you? I didn't take the clothes from my back and put it on him. I didn't see to it that he got an education. What am I, someone from off the streets? God's sake. I'm counting. Enjoy your drinks. 
Yeah, we're just going to order. Uh, say, bartender. Yeah. I've got a couple of scotches <laughs> down here, a little water. trouble. I suppose eventually you'll get around to telling me what that means. Do you know how much money Jerry makes a year? No. Do you? No, I don't, and I am not really interested. He makes 18000 Five hundred dollars a year. Good. Let's give him an A plus, shall we? You notice the clothes those women wore? Look, Muriel, if I had known that you were going to carry on in this fashion, I never would have gone to that party. Why not, honey? They're our old friends. We haven't seen them in years. What's the matter? You afraid I just might open my eyes and see what the rest of the world's been doing while you've Look, been sitting? Muriel. For the 99th time, I'm no hero. I'll... I'm not a big money maker. <laughs> you can say that again. I never will be. What, are you proud of it? I'm just saying. I'll never make history. I'll just teach it. I'm, I'm a school teacher. That's... Got a little place in this world that's good enough for me. 
Now, you've had 15 years to get used to that idea. If you could just just accept that, Muriel, I think I think I could be a happy man. I think you could be a happy woman. Let's not have any speeches. I've heard that all before. You're not kidding. It's the 99th time. What else can I do? Someday I'll draw you a diagram. Do you know there wasn't a woman there tonight that didn't have at least three children? Well, I went to the doctor and he said I was all right. What? I said I went to the doctor and he said I was all right. So he said. You should pay us a visit some night. since midnight. Yeah. How was the party? Yeah. Was he there? Well, well, did you get a chance to talk to him? Yeah. And? He will? He, he's really willing to give me a chance? Tomorrow morning? I haven't had a drop for eight months. I'm dry. I'm completely dry. Fred, have a heart, will you? same bar. What do you want? Well, I just wanted... Are you going downtown? I thought maybe... Go on. Beat it. We could... Beat it. Wait a minute. I... Go on.
say, huh? Say, we're in a hurry, Jack. Take it easy, take it easy. You'll live longer. And you, the train may be coming to your mind. There's plenty of time, plenty of time. How many? How many, fella? Two? Yeah, two, buddy. You see anybody else out here? Hey, what's the idea, mister? What's the matter? You pushed one of them on the floor. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. So how about coming out here and picking it up? Ah, oh, come on, will you, fella? You heard me. I said come out here and pick it up. Look, I said I was sorry. Well, I'm not picking it up. All right, so don't pick it up. Listen, you come out here and pick it up, or you give me my money back. Joan, don't pick it up. Oh, no, please. I said don't touch it. Darling, it is not all that important. Well, it's important to me. You know you're looking for trouble, and one of these days you're going to get it. Joan! Step out of that booth and I'll knock that grin off your face. Yeah, 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 you stinking garbage. You got some nerve, you buster. You damn right I got some nerve. If I ever see you again, I'll bust you wide open. Yeah, sure, sure. Garbage, garbage. What the hell? What the hell? He threw it on the floor, didn't he? What's wrong with you? You don't know how to enjoy life. Huh. I don't know how to enjoy life. No, you don't. You have to be an imbecile not to worry. Enjoy life. No, you don't. You have to be an imbecile not to worry. Keep your voice down. Well, if you knew the times, I'm wide awake, three o'clock in the morning. There you are, sleeping like a baby. No. Oh, what are you talking? What I say? Of course, the old help the young. Did I say no? But then after. The young must help the old. Must. That's if right. they don't, who will? I don't know. But today, these kids, I should live so long. Look, whose side are you on? Mine or Whitey's? I don't believe an answer that. But being your wife does not change the fact that there is a right way to do things and there no, is a wrong go way. Go lecture them home relief bums you take care of. Don't try Whitey's stupid social work on me. There is nothing stupid about social work. Yeah, I know all about it. You and Whitey sitting down together, sipping tea, talking about what are we going to do about them poor colored folk up there? Man, if that ain't a crock. And I ain't nonviolent either, so don't try dragging me to another one of them damn discussions like tonight. You had only had the courtesy to wait until it was finished. And then if you had any questions... Wait. Colonel, That's all he talked about. Wait. Just wait, brothers and sisters. The next hundred years is gonna be a whole lot easier for us colored folk. All we got to do is sit and wait. Wait on the Lord and shout hallelujah. Now, Arnold, you know he didn't say anything like that. But what he did say makes a whole lot more sense than that stuff you pulled down there in, in that change booth. I ain't letting no white man walk on me. Prove that, all right. And I ain't letting them walk on me. And that's why they hate my guts, and I hate them right back, all of them. In the army, we used to sing praise the Lord and pass the ammunition, and that's what we ought to be singing now. Not them hymns. <laughs> we ought to hit them first and hit them hard and, and re-educate them later. <laughs> Not us, them. Arnold, Arnold. Things are so changing, and you know it. Not much, maybe, but these things take time. You've got to give them a chance. Wait! That's what you're talking about, wait. But I got news for you, baby. We ain't got time to wait. You can march and you can pick it and, and you can legislate from here to hell and back. But you'll never see the day. We're in a war, baby. And when you're in a war, you got to fight. And when you want changes, you got to spill blood. Any white man look at me cross-eyed and he's got one-way ticket to the graveyard. You don't mean that. You don't mean that because they'd shoot you down. Well, if I can take care of a few of them in the meantime, that's all I want. That's all I want. <laughs> Yeah.
black, honey, just as well. Yeah, but he ain't. Hey, son. Hey. Tell us something now. Uh, when you get to be a great big lawyer, you the member of Felix? <laughs> Why, sure, son. How can no, I forget? No, no, wait a second now. I'm being serious with you now. Now, I just, uh, I just wondered maybe I ought to get your autograph while the getting's good. Well, you know, so I can look at it on rainy days. Oh, yeah. Got a pen? A pencil? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, well, I'm going to treasure <laughs> this. <laughs> right here. On my cast. Right there. Oh, thank you so much. Well, why did he get fired? I don't know why. Just did that he got fired, that's all. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to me. Why, why can't you understand that? I don't want to argue with you. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to do anything. I'd just like you to worry for a change. Huh? I didn't hear you. I said I wish we could go somewhere. See what I mean? Make one person happy. Next time, baby. Next time we'll go somewhere. I guarantee you. Oh, no, man. This guy needs a bomb. 
What are they doing to him? That's nothing. It's just a bomb. It's nothing. about his trouble. He must be a friend of yours. Hey, Adi! Better cut it out. This guy's a friend of his. Oh, yeah? No kidding. Hey, let me ask you a question, mister. How do you know he's sleeping at all? How do you know he ain't dead? Huh? I mean, how do you know he ain't dead? You saw him move, you know he isn't dead. Oh, yeah, I saw him move, but uh, how do you know that wasn't a twitch? <laughs> Twitch. Hey, did you ever hear of that dead man's twitch? I mean, you know about everything else. You don't know about a dead man's twitch? Come on, talk to me. I mean, you started it. So you talk to me. Forget it. Forget it? Hey, how do you like this guy? Put his big nose in, and then he says, forget it. Hey, Adi, I guess it's okay now. They ain't friends no more. Oh, uh, yeah? You sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure.
Thank you very much. I couldn't do that with my left hand. Listen, can I talk to you? All right. Come here a second. Can you help me? I'm in serious trouble. Can you help me? What's the matter? This guy I'm with, he's real buggy, you know. Not natural. <laughs> Hey, Sean. 
just going all the time? No, no, they're just a couple of maniacs. I'm sorry you had to see this, Felix. Don't let it bother you. Oh, don't bother me, man. So this ain't my town. This part of it isn't my town either. <laughs> You can get away with everything. Why don't you grow up and behave yourself for heaven's sake? Where do you think you are? There are decent people here. I'll call the police. Yeah? Don't worry. I ain't worried. I'll be so smart. I'll call them. Go ahead and call them. I ain't stopping you. Yeah? Yeah. You want me to call them for you? I'll call them for you. Yeah. Hey, Artie, you want to call the police too? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. 
Hey, please! <laughs> See? All you gotta do is ask. Anything else that I can do for you, Pop? You, you're his age. Why don't you stand up and do something? What are you getting on my back for? You, you're a disgrace. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Self, self. That's all you think, like animals. Sam, for heaven's sake. For one of a kind. <laughs> Even sounds like it. That's right, Pop. We're brothers. We understand each other, right? I mean, you don't feel like standing up, do you? Look, I don't know nothing, Mike. I didn't see nothing. See that, Pop? He's too busy. He's got his girlfriend, right? That's your girlfriend, pal? Huh? What's the matter, pal? I'm just asking. That's your girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah? He was girlfriend? Not bad, pal. Not bad at all. Hey, Adi! Yeah! You want to see a real doll? Better than a princess, even! Oh, come on. Nobody's better than the princess. Well, well, thanks. How about you, girlfriend? Just to get in the mood. Look, what do you say? We're not bothering you, right? No, no, you're not bothering me. I'm just trying to be friendly, that's all. I mean, uh, we understand each other, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sure, that's what I thought. How is she? Look, why don't you just... I mean, take it easy, huh, Mac? What's the matter? Now, take it easy. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just asking. See, what I want to know, Mac, is what's she like in a sack? Hey, she's a nice girl, huh? Yeah. So how come she's with you? I mean, as long as you're nuzzling her on the subway, I figure anything goes, right? Ain't that right, honey? I mean, if you're looking for some extra action, you can always come with me and my buddy. I mean, if you're really looking for a workout, you know... You gonna say something, Mac? Huh. I see you go for the strong, silent type, honey. Honey? Well, if you change your mind, give me a call. Name's Joe Ferrone. Look it up. I'll know what to do with you. I'll know what to do with you. Oh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, mister? Do you like a drink? <laughs> Come on, honey, he's really good. Oh, I want to stay inside. 
See this? Crazy. And watch. Ah, hey, what's the Over! Go to your room. you boys just settle down now, huh? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you had your fun. Why don't y'all stop rocking the boat for a while? Well, I ain't rocking no boat. Hey, hey, you rocking a boat? <laughs> no, man, I ain't rocking no boat. <laughs> hey, don't mess with Felix. Well, I'm messing with him. Where are you from, soldier boy? Me? Yeah. yeah. I'm from Oklahoma. Is that supposed to be a big deal? No, not especially. Is a uniform supposed to be a big deal? No, not especially. I mean, is it supposed to mean you're better than us or something? I mean, like your feet don't stink? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we're better than you, son. No. However, uh, I do think we're a little quieter. Hey, what do they call you all? Back home. Just looking well, for a fight. No, no, I'll, the train. no, I'll tell you, son. <clears throat> my name's Tufflinger. My friends call me Felix. Felix? Yeah, I guess y'all can have some fun with that now, huh? <laughs> you kid. You mean like Felix the cat? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you're too much, you know that? Hey, they teach you how to fight in the army. Yeah, I'll teach us how to fight. Yeah? Well, it looks like you didn't make out too good, huh? <laughs> yeah, it sure looks that way, don't I mean, uh, you look kind of lopsided. I can fix that for you. Oh, yeah. Even it out, you know? Uh-huh, but you could, yeah. I'll tell you, though, I, I kind of like it this way. Yeah? Yeah. And hey, they teach you how to be tough, Neon? Mmm, yeah, I guess so. I mean, are you a tough guy now? Oh, no, I ain't too tough. I'm peaceful type, so. <laughs> what are you supposed to do if uh, somebody like throws something at you? I mean, like the enemy. What are you supposed to do? Throws what? I don't know anything. Like this. <laughs> ah, what are you supposed to do? Hey, Doc, what are you trying to do? Kill somebody? What's the matter? I missed him, didn't I? Come on, soldier boy. Show me what you're supposed to do. Show me how tough you are. You two against us two. What do you say? Just for laughs. What do you say? Oh, man. That crack ain't used to this. Ain't tall, ain't tall. I'd like to accommodate you, son. I got a bus going here. Put one hand behind my back. What do you say? No, thanks. What are you, yellow? No. No, I just know you can beat me to a pulp either way. <laughs> Yeah, I know it, and you know it, don't you? 
so we'll approve. Hey, you're stinking well told you know it. That's what I said. You know, I don't like you. I don't like the way you talk. I don't like nothing about you. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to grind you up. So don't talk to me no more, yeah, you understand? You, understand? you just keep your stinking mouth shut, yeah, that's all. Shut up! Something, buddy. 
I wouldn't have you with me if you was the last man. You know that? I'd rather have a, a dead dog with me than you. Okay. You do what you want to do. Yeah? You know why? You want to know why? Because I don't like black. What do you think of that, huh? Okay. You made your point. No, no. No, no. You started shooting your mouth off. I didn't make no point. I just want to tell you, I don't like black. Because black's like dirt, you know? I mean, it like smells. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? Don't you believe it smells, Jack? Ask anybody. They'll tell you. Go ahead, ask them! They'll tell you. You probably can't smell it no more. I can smell it from there. It's what they call nigger smell. Don't mess with me. Did you hear that, Jack? Nigger smell? I said don't mess with me. Don't you believe me, Jack? Nigger smell? I said don't mess with she me. She probably can't smell it no more either. You can't smell it, she can't smell it. I said don't mess with me. I said don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Unlock the door and let these people out of here. What you say, lady? I said, why don't you unlock the door and let these people out of here? Oh man, this one's a tiger, you know it. Will you do what I ask you to do? <laughs> Will you please unlock the door and let these people out of this car? Why? You're real. Well, what do you want to do with us? Haven't you had your fun? No, lady. I haven't had my fun. 
Will you please unlock the door and let these people out of this car? Why should I, lady? Will you please unlock the door and let these people out of this car? Why should I, lady? Why should I unlock the doors and let these people out? <laughs> <laughs> Good. What do you want to do with us? I don't know. What do you want me to do with us? Why don't you just unlock the doors and let the people out? What's the matter? <laughs> come on. Over here. Over here. Come on. That will do now. Over here. Come on. Come on. Unlock the door and let these people out of this car. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Look, you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. Why, lady? I know your name. It's my name, lady. Joe Ferrone, and I'm going to tell the police, and they'll know where to find you. So you're in trouble. So you better unlock the door and let us out. Is that what you really want to do, lady? You really want me to just let these people out of the car? Is that what you really want me to do, lady? What? Is that what you want to do, lady? No. I want to get out of this car. Look, I can't stand this car much longer, so would you please let us out of this car? You're going to slap my hand if I don't let you out, lady? Artie. Come on, lady. Oh, no. Artie. Matter, don't you? Don't you like me? Don't do that. Maybe you like him better. Don't do that. Now, lady? Maybe you'd like the both of us, lady. I look better without my glasses. <laughs> both of us, lady? Why do you let them talk to me like that? Why do you let them talk to me like that? You stood up here <laughs> and you begged him. Why do you mean? I just want to talk to her! Hi. No! 
help you. Is it over now? Is there no more to say? Is it over now? Has it ended this way? 